Hi guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, XPath. So XPath is nothing but uh, its will path in which like uh, we define our attribute uh, and the XPath using uh, some proper strategies, right? And uh, in a previous uh, video we have seen like uh, we have multiple uh, ways through which we can identify the locator of an element, right? So what happens sometimes is like uh, we do not get this ID and name uh, element uh, for any uh, given uh, web element, right? So that time what we do is like uh, we make use of XPath. So XPath is nothing but uh, XML path in which like uh, uh, we create XPath uh, using the given syntax here. So following the syntax for XPath, right? So we uh, provide a double forward slash followed by star and then tag name and then square bracket at attribute is equal to value. So this we'll see uh, with an example how we can write our own XPath. And uh, this is another approach through which like uh, we define uh, our XPath using multiple attributes and multiple values because what happens is like um, whenever we are creating XPath for an element, uh, we are not getting any specific matching node like we are expecting one matching node there, right? So in that scenario, we have to cascade with multiple uh, elements so that we get the single matching node here. So using this approach, we can identify so that it can further narrow down and give us a single matching node here, right? So let's go to the browser in which like I have taken a demo website, uh, Swag Labs website to showcase you guys uh, this uh, XPath example, right? So let me quickly inspect this and uh, try to inspect this username text box, right? And when I just inspect this, so this is the element we can get, right? For this username. So in order to write XPath for this, we will just press Control F on the keyboard and double forward slash. And then we have tag name as input here. And then we have attribute as type and followed by single quote and then text that is a value when i do this like it highlights this web element do you see that it is highlighting the username text field over here and uh, it is getting highlighted uh, and it is giving a single matching node here so if you're not getting single matching node here then you have to multiple cascade with other web element like uh, in this case i can take help of like id is equal to username right so I can take help of like uh, ID is equal to username and it will give a single result over here, right? So there is like a dash over here between user and name. So now it is giving single matching node. So you can make use of this approach whenever there is not a single matching uh, uh, element you are getting here. But for now we can go ahead with single matching node. Since we are getting this single matching node here. And one more thing you have to keep in your mind is right now you can see like it is giving us a uh, single matching node with input type is equal to text because uh, this attribute is quite common and uh, it is being used by multiple web elements on the ui right so that time it might not give you like single matching node so you have to be cautious like you have to pick up some other id which is not so common and give us like a constant uh, single matching node result right so let's try to make use of this x path and try to go to eclipse and try to run the example right so instead rather dot find element by dot x path and I'll pass this complete x path and then send keys and just send keys as test right and let us quickly run this we close this example let me quickly run this and see how it works All right, so you can see like uh, Chrome has lost and it has entered username and test. So it is working fine. So let us try to play around with other uh, like attributes here, uh, right? So we have other attributes like ID is equal to username. Uh, though we have like ID is equal to username. So we can uh, form XPath using this ID, right? So let me try to form the XPath using this ID here. So I'll say like input ID is equal to username. Now it is creating a single X path, right? And let me try to pass it over here. And let me remove one of the slash, which is not required. Uh, 
All right, so it is working fine now. So similarly, like we can play around with the other uh, like attribute here. So here all we have name as well. So let me try to put name. And yes, it is giving a single matching node as you can see here, one of one. Let me go to Eclipse. I'm passing this uh, X path over here and it should work the same way. And yes, it did work like it has entered the test string inside this user field. And similarly, like uh, we can play around with this XPath various uh, attributes here. Uh, so let me quickly like identify some of the web elements, right? Using a uh, XPath strategy. So we have seen with a single, uh, like a uh, single attribute and multiple attributes, like we can cascade with other, other web, element, uh, web element as well, so that it gives us uh, like unique matching node here. And uh, also like uh, XPath provides us flexibility to traverse from top to bottom and uh, bottom to top as well, right? So we'll see quickly see like how we can traverse from this deep class is equal to login box. Let us start uh, inspecting from here. So Dave add class is equal to this. And then we have to come inside this form, right? So I'll say slash form then input, right? So this is, uh, following a uh, path here so you can see we, we we are starting to inspect from here so we have this div attribute to no uh, sorry div tag here and the div plus is equal to login box so we have to create an xpath using this and then uh, this is the child node you can say for this div so in order to uh, go to the child node we can use like forward slash form and then input so this is creating x path and this is working fine and if i pass this x path over here instead of this one uh it will also like run fine without any issue so let me quickly run and show you and yes it worked fine right so similarly like uh, we can traverse from top to bottom because sometimes what happens is like uh, even if you have uh, used all the approaches uh, and uh, all the attributes here using multiple uh, attributes you have tried to identify and you are getting multiple matching nodes so that time what you can do is like you can traverse from top to bottom in a certain uh, like a structure like you can start from here and you can go from this div then div then div so you can traverse from multiple divs here let me show you like uh, since we have two divs here right so this is div uh, is the parent div then the, uh, there is a child div so I have used a forward slash to indicate that and then we have inside this div class is equal to login box and then we are going to the child node that is formed and like this we are coming to this input box and uh, mentioning uh, and mentioning the rest of the xpath uh, format right so we, and finally it is giving us a single matching node so this is how like we try it from top to bottom and we can go to any node like this right and uh, we can uh, drivers and you, you we can identify multiple matching nodes here as well right whenever we have to find uh, like multiple matching node that time we can make use of uh, this xpath strategies as well and like uh, find elements another method provided by selenium we'll uh, see in the upcoming videos like uh, there is a method provided by selenium which is find elements in which like uh, we have to deal with multiple web elements and uh, we can uh, further drill down into some other objects and identify the complete details right so like this we can work on on the x path and uh, we can use any attribute like this is the tag name as you already know like this is the attribute this is the value so we can combine in any of these uh, elements and try to form the x path and using x path we can uh, like uh, form any x path and uh, try to interact with web element Alright, so that's all in this video. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.